What's up, guys? Welcome back to our Dark Aether series here on my second account. And in our last video, our top comment was from Cold War is awesome. Saying that they want us to get the LC10 done on Maori Totem, but we need to randomize our attachments every round milestone. So that's what we're we'll going to be doing today. And just in case you don't know, every round milestone, I think, is round 10. And then after that, it's every five rounds after. So it goes like 10, 15, 20, 25, etc. But it's whenever like the skull or whatever pops up and it says round milestone completed. So whenever we see that pop up, we got to go and uh, randomize our attachments at the armor stand. Normally, this is where I would go over what attachments I'm using on the weapon, but we are going to be switching these out pretty frequently. But just in case you're curious on what I would have used, uh, we got the Microflex LED here, uh, SOCOM Eliminator, Task Force Barrel, Ember Sighting Point, Bruiser Grip, 55 round mag, the 52 round fast mag's good too, Speed Tape, and No Stock. Uh, normally I run SCS Combat Stock, but No Stock kind of looks funny on this. It makes the gun look a lot smaller. And really quick, our camel progress. We are almost done with our normal kills. Uh, if you guys didn't see, we did a stream earlier on YouTube before me recording this video to get our, our LC10 leveled up. We're going through and testing different leveling methods because I feel like the one I've been using has been kind of lacking. So uh, we got a little more kills here than normal for our rotten camo, but we still have a decent amount of headshots to get. We still need 1,500. And for our pack-a-punch kills, we need 1,300. Vintage is done, Fauna's done, Topo's done, but we still need to do all of Infection. So a bit to do here today, and it's going to be a little difficult constantly switching out our attachments. And also the field upgrade we're going to be using today is Ring of Fire. So let's go ahead, hop on Maori Toten and get this thing done. All right, here we go, flying on in. And I'm a little concerned on how this challenge is going to go because I every time I've used the randomized attachments thing at the armor stand, I feel like I've always gotten the worst attachments possible. So that's probably what he was uh, looking for here in this challenge. And I have a feeling that they're going to be giving me a lot of like three times and up like optics. And it's just going to make doing this so much more difficult. But we're gamers. We can get through it. Never shy away from a challenge unless it's no dead shot. That's just evil. Don't get any ideas. Seriously, don't. But when I first saw this challenge, I was a little concerned about how we're going to be able to get that much salvage to keep up with it. But I think it's only 250 green salvage, if I'm not mistaken, uh, to switch out our attachments every time or randomize them at the stand. So we just got to make sure we're not spending our salvage. Good thing that we did complete all of our Easter eggs, if you guys haven't seen. Uh, we've gone through and done all the Easter eggs on this account in a separate series. Uh, just trying to get our, our super Easter egg reward, and we have it. So our weapon is starting out purple tier here. So we don't have to worry about salvage for any of those early game weapon upgrades. And we can kind of just hope for an armor drop. But uh, we're already at 250 green salvage. So honestly, it's pretty fast to be able to get this. Plus, we have those spots near those towers that we can dig at if we don't have enough to do it. So we should be good here. But just to be sure, uh, once we get towards the Wonder Fizz, I think the first one I'm grabbing is going to be Death Perception. So we get that added uh, bonus. A salvage drop just to make sure that we have enough built up because it would suck if we got to a round milestone and we didn't have enough salvage i'm trying to figure out what i'm going to do if we get to that point obviously we'll we'll roll them as soon as we get enough but do i have to like melee or something until i do i'm gonna say i can't get any camo progress if i if i can't roll my attachments so say we get to a round milestone and i don't have it i'm gonna have to like use nades or like my field upgrade or whatever to get kills i think that's a good plan you know keeps me honest and Hopefully we can get this done in like, uh, I'm going to say like 35 rounds. So that way we don't have to go through too many round milestones. You know, keep it a little simple. Hopefully they, they bless us and they give us like a task force barrel or like a, the cavalry lancer barrel on a higher round. That would be very helpful. But I feel like we're about to get like, I don't even know what attachments are on the LC10. I should have looked at, you know, what we should look out for. But I know it's probably got some meaty sight. And there's going to be like some garbage barrel that they put on here. And then we're going to end up doing no damage at some point. But it should be interesting. But we already got our first fuse. Let's head on down here. Try to race against the trains. I like how the first time you come down here, every time there's going to be trains. It's a nice introduction to this map. I remember how hyped I was whenever uh, I first came on here and just saw, saw trains going by. I'm like, okay, this is a little dynamic. Also, I've been having issues with my chair recently. I went to a, a friend's house and they have the same chair as me. And they showed me that it can actually tilt and you can lock the tilt. And it's actually super comfortable to sit with it, like tilted way back like this. <laughs> but uh, I got it stuck like that. And I was sitting there messing with it. I couldn't figure out how to get it back to normal. So I was just sitting there like pulling on this like lever thing, trying to get it to work. And I ended up breaking the lever off of it. So it's my own fault really. And I, I didn't realize that all I had to do was lean further back to reset it. Like you just got to lean all the way back for it to go forward. I, I mean, my little peanut brain couldn't comprehend that. So if you see me kind of rocking around here, it's because I got this thing all loosey-goosey. I'm leaning around. 
and I'm probably going to end up headbutting the mic uh, more than once this 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 video. All right, let's open this up. Got our loose change here. Throw on the lever. Oh, no. Our fuses, they're broken. Throw in another one. I think I've done that one before. And now we need to build some cash. I'm not going to waste the time running out there knowing I'm broke. I won't even be able to open the door for our next fuse. Oh, nuke. We'll take that extra cash from that. So once we got about like, I don't know, 2,000 we can go. Oh, we do have 2,000. All right. We're coming, Tempest. Don't you worry. And a train's coming too. Isn't that perfect? All right. What's going on, Tempest? Guess what? You're asleep. Give me that fuse. Gotta get these guys out of here. And we officially have power on. There we go. Now it's time to turn Pack-A-Punch on. Also, let me make sure that we have the re-roll thing here. So our weapon attachments, yeah, it's only 250 green to re-roll. Okay, we're, we're good on that. Shout out to Stream Chat for letting me know that earlier when we were talking about the challenge. Let's turn on Pack-A-Punch. What's going on, Disciple? Or should I say, Bitch? Yeah, we're getting real creative over here. All right, ring of fire time. All these zombies about to get melted. Don't matter if the Disciple powered you up. I'm taking you right back down. Ooh, instantly clapped. They're all asleep. And let's go ahead and make sure we have all the salvage we need. I'm going to dig these spots up right now. Oh, there's Klaus's part. Come here. Oh, no. Don't shoot me, turret, with the whole 40 damage you do. Oh, it's a useless turret. Traps in this game are just actually useless in general. All right. I think I got all the spots. We got a good bit of salvage from that. We got 1750 in green salvage. Not bad. Pretty stocked up for the future. I, I like how we only have 20 blue salvage, though. The early rounds really only give you the green. But just to be sure, death perception, come here. And loose change. You can get on over here as well. All right, we're on round six. So in the next four rounds, we got to be ready. I got to make sure I'm I'm being vigilant for that uh, round milestone to pop up. But for now, let's just sit in power room. So we have enough money to get some other perks. We have not gotten lucky enough for an armor drop yet, which is very unfortunate. So if one of these zombies would be nice enough to go ahead and give me some Kevlar, that'd be cool. It's going to be a zombie in this round. It's either happening this round or it's not happening at all. I feel like whenever I think about, oh man, an armor drop would be cool. It just don't happen. Like I have commentators curse just even just thinking about it. But whenever I, I don't need armor, I'm not even thinking about it. It's like, oh yeah, here's like four of them in the same round. Oh, there's our rotten camo all done with our normal kills. Still a ways away on our crits and our pack a punch, but we'll get there. And we're out of ammo. And you zombies want to drop ammo for me? I'm going to have to beat the shit out of every last one of you. Huh? You going to drop me ammo? Nope. I'm going to have to buy it. Oh, of course, a max ammo drops right after I buy ammo. Nice one, Treyarch. Real funny. All right, we're at the end of round nine here. I'm pretty sure round 10 is the first round milestone. So I'm standing here by the armor stand just to make sure. Let's see. Round 10. I don't see a round milestone thing pop up. Okay, maybe it is 15. That's the first one. And then it goes by five each time. I'm going to look it up. Cold War Zombies round milestones. You'll earn a round milestone for every five rounds you survive. So the longer you last and the more Ethereum crystals you'll earn. Blah, blah, blah. That's talking about upgrading your skills. So is it every five rounds? I didn't see a round milestone thing pop up. All right, just to be safe, I think I'm going to I'm gonna roll the attachments here. We're starting at round 10 and we'll do it every five. All oh, the Panzers here. All right, let's try to get the bad attachments out of the way early, please. Let's re-roll on buying armor while we're here. Oh, wait, maybe not. But we got a nice, uh, I think this is the Cobra Red Dot. One of my favorite. But the barrel's looking real short and we're taking a lot of damage here. Uh, I need to get Deadshot, like now. I'm gonna get Deadshot and Jug. Maybe Quick Revive too. So Deadshot, Quick Revive, Jug, and we're running for our lives. I don't want to get stuck up here with the Panzer. You know what? Actually, we have 5,000 as well. Let's pack a punch. There we go. Uh, really quick, this is what pack a punch looks like on the LC-10 here. Uh, very nice. Oh, sh zombies, stay away from me. Hold on. Ooh, I got no armor and just zombies chasing me. We'll come back to that in a second. I'm going up here and I'm popping my ring of fire. All right, come on up. I dare you. Make that jump, Panzer. There we go. Popping it. Panzer's immediately squished. Gonna rack up all the crits up here. Zombies got no idea what hit him. Oh, there's our contamination camo. We're almost done with our, our little jackrabbit medals. And we'll take that battery for good measure. Oh, okay. So it's after we finish round 10. So there's our round milestone. We already rolled them, but now we know it's after that round. Okay. I was a little confused. It's basically like every X-Fill round. So anytime we see that radio pop up, we know it's time to go uh, re-roll our attachments. I guess I'll stay up here for a second while we're trying to get some more perks. Oh yeah, and also before it gets too crazy, this is what it looks like real quick. Very nice. Camel coverage on this gun is going to be amazing. Oh, now they drop me armor. Let's go. Saved out on buying some. Extreme couponing and zombies. All right, let's go ahead and grab mule kick so we don't got to worry about ammo. I was really hoping on our first roll we get like a sniper scope or something. Because what are the odds that we get it like twice in one game? Actually, probably pretty high. I think it probably presets like certain attachments for each gun in a game. 
that if you reroll them, it'll go to that. And then we'll probably get end up getting the same thing multiple times. That's just, that's my guess. The way I've seen RNG go in some games, it kind of feels like it's not that random. Like it's almost like there's some preset things that it could be. I could be wrong. I don't know shit about game development or how it works. I took a very uh, low level coding class and that's where I'm getting this information off R RNG from. So is our glitch camo? I think we're done. No, wait, no. There's one more after glitch, then we're done. Let's go ahead and grab speed cola so we can reload faster and get our field upgrade faster. And I think that's probably good for us to go back down to power. We can come grab everything else later. Take that double points with us. I'm really hoping we don't end up getting some weak ass attachments that get us killed in here. Cause I finally mustered up the courage to start grinding camos down and electrical. And if rerolling attachments takes that away from me, I'm gonna be pissed. Cause we've done pretty well in here the last few times we've played on Mauer. Knock on wood. I don't, I don't want to jinx it. I think we'll be all right. Oh, there's conviction. All right, now we're all done with jackrabbits. It's all pack a punch and crits from here on out. All right, now we're on round 15. We got to wait till we complete this round to go ahead and reroll our attachments. Oh, this is going to be an easy one. Nice tormentor round. That's probably the easiest dog round in this game. They spawn so close to you, especially if you're in like a camping spot, like up on like where Wonderfizz is or even down here. You can just spawn kill them. It's a no effort round. And we probably got like one or two left maybe. So I'm gonna go wait over here by the armor stand. Oh, there we go. Round 16, round milestone. There it is, okay. Be gentle. Give me something nice. Okay, all right, a decent sight. The thing I'm really looking for is the sight every time. I don't wanna get stuck with uh, anything crazy, but we got a silencer on here. It looks pretty nice, a silencer with the Mauer pack punch camo looks so good. Even sounds pretty cool. We got a 64 round mag though. We, sh we should probably pay attention to our mag too. I want to see how much it changes. I forgot to look at the last one. Oh, we have a Panzer. Guess what, Panzer? Ring of fire. Don't matter the attachments. You're going down. Oh, this is a cakewalk. I don't know if it's just me, but even if suppressors, like especially in zombies or whatever game, where if you use an attachment slot on them, you're usually like putting yourself at a disadvantage unless you're playing some sort of like game that requires or mode that requ requires silence and like stealth you're putting yourself at a disadvantage putting a silence around i think in this it like lowers your damage range or just actual damage output but silencers just look so cool man just the the whole stealth aspect of it the whole attachment to the end of your barrel i don't know what it is about them but they're pretty sick i think my favorite version of uh silencers though has got to be the ones on pistols like you, f you feel like 007 walking in or even like agent 47 that you're gonna go hop in and do some cold calculated stealthy takeout it just it just seems so cool i always love it when when games have nice silencers oh there's our drench camo we're at 1500 pack a punch kills only a thousand more to go there and we have 32,000 points i need to go pack a punch again and then fill up on perks all right so the next perk we're grabbing is stamina up and i guess i'll get phd and we're all done on perks once this round starts to die down a bit i'll go grab pack two and we'll grab cryo freeze oh there's our threshold camo so we're at 1451 crits will be all done all right round ended i'm coming pack a punch don't you worry all right this is the pack a punch 2 camo here on the lc10 very nice it this mag is very weird though on its camo coverage it's like it, it covers the little wrap around it and it looks like there's almost some color on the mag like some green lines that's weird i don't think i've ever noticed that before pretty cool though nice little touch i also forgot to grab cryo freeze so i'm gonna do that real quick all you zombies get stunned go here ammo mods cryo freeze there we go and now we're going back down to our hidey hole oh another torment around here that's gonna be a tradition we're gonna have a torment around before each time we gotta reroll our attachments i'm down with it a nice little farewell to our current attachments we gotta remember here 64 bullets in the mag and a pretty decent scope we'll see if that changes are you our last tormentor yes you are let's go ahead and grab that max ammo see the round milestone pop up there we go all right let's reroll. and we get okay another red dot uh still 64 rounds in the mag looks like we got the same mag as before not bad no suppressor though this thing looking ugly i wonder if it gives me any attachments that i don't have unlocked by rerolling it I'm sure it does, because what if you come into a game with, like, you buy a gun off the wall that you've never used before? Uh-oh, I'm getting mobbed. But if you, you've come into the game, you buy a gun off the wall that you've never used before, and you hit reroll attachments on something, 
It'll probably give you some nice attachments or some ones that you don't have unlocked. I guess it already gives you random attachments when you buy it off the wall. I wonder if you have better luck. If you have the le weapon leveled up or not. Or if it's just completely RNG. I want to I wanna see the code that goes into this. What if there's a way to make it so it gives you like the meta attachments? Like say you had a custom mod made and it like will randomly pick and you can like rename the custom mod to some certain name to make the RNG generator like favor that build. Ooh, that's definitely not a thing. Or maybe it is. Plays Vsauce music. Okay, this is definitely not feeling as strong. Probably because I need pack three. But whatever barrel we got on here does not seem to be helping. This feels like a, a multiplayer centered barrel where it's like faster fire. Like this is a barrel you'd use in hardcore. I am using a lot of stuns down here. At least we got double points. Every time I stun, I'm getting 20 extra instead of 10. A little nice passive income. Okay, got a ring of fire. Got a ring of fire. I'll use zombies to stay back. And that's a nuke. That's fun. Right as I use my ring of fire. That's awesome. Love wasting my field upgrade. Okay. They twisted my arm. I'm getting pack three. All right, this is pack punch three on the LC10. Very nice coverage here. I really like the, the purple part of the camo and then that, that death part starts to roll in there. The blue is pretty nice too. But I don't understand why they try to add so many colors to one camo. Well, then we can get a better look at it once we go down. Oh, that's how we got destroyed. But they're trying to do too much with this. If they would have just kept it at the nice purple and blue would have been fine but i think maybe they thought uh people would think it's a reskin of dark aether and you know let's call it lazy but i think mara has some of the best pack punch game out. but while we're on the topic i think a reskin of dark aether would be sick something they need to add is like an obsidian type camo for zombies like something an extra thing that you can grind for something else you can work towards another completionist thing like having like prestige camos would be cool as well like, if you could get your camo all the way, like, done, like, you get Dark Aether, you could hit, like, Prestige Camo, and you keep whatever Dark Aether you have, but you could change the color on it. I, I've mentioned this before, and I, I heard the idea from LEGO, and I, I really think it's a, it's a great idea, and a, another thing that can keep people playing zombies and... You know, just adding to the replayability of the mode. I think it'd be perfect. Like, imagine there's 10 different color variations and you can grind Dark Aether 10 times on the same account. You know how many videos we'd be doing? So many. You know how many accounts we'd have to have? Just one. You know, maybe that's part of their plan. They want me to just buy multiple accounts. Maybe that's the, the big scam here. Oh, not insta-kill. I don't want insta-kill. I hate insta-kill in this game. It just destroys any rhythm. Field upgrade you're working towards? Nah, don't need it. Headshots you're going for? Uh, what about a body shot? And we'll give you the full kill. Insta-kill's booty in this game. Our tradition of having a tormentor round before our reroll has ended. Maybe it's every 10 rounds and not every five for the tormentor rounds. Maybe I'm stupid, but... Just a normal zombie round here. Nothing crazy so far. All right, is this Disciple our last zombie? Come on, Disciple, you can come with me. Actually, no, you can't. You're way too slow. You're dying. Round 26. x here, round milestone. Yes, sir, buddy. All right, we can switch this out. What are we getting? Okay, another hollow site. We still have 64 rounds in the mag. And we upgraded it to gold. We've been getting pretty lucky on these rerolls. Okay, since we keep getting pretty lucky here, once we hit round 30, I'm going to reroll it until we get a bad optic. Or at least the worst optic we can find. I wish there was a way for me to check what exact attachments I had on it, though. That'd be pretty cool. Oh, check out the points. Sex. We have reached our farewell round with this build of the LC-10. Now, after this round, we're for sure spinning it until we get a bad optic. I want to see what it's like with one. You know, we've, we've gotten lucky enough so far. Let's add a little bit of spice to this. Uh-oh. This is not doing anything against the Panzer. Literally nothing. Hold on. We're hitting round 30, so this is when armor starts to become a big issue. And this Panzer is not dying. It is not dying. There we go. We finally took it out. Get me out of this corner, please. I'm just tossing stuns around. There's just a bunch of zombies standing there aimlessly. And I'm basically doing the same thing. Stun again. Ooh. This is now where it kind of gets serious. Oh, we got a disciple left for our last zombie again. All right, come on over here, pal. I'm going to start rerolling now because I know we're going to round milestone right after this. And I just want to make sure that we get it without getting attacked. So what is this? Okay, a little weird, but nothing crazy. Let's reroll again. Oh, wait, that's my armor. Can you get stunned and like fuck off, please? Thanks. All right, let's reroll. Okay, a little two time scope. We can probably do better than this. Cycle it again. Nope, Cobra Red Dot. Little red dot. Okay, now we're cooking. This is a three times. 
I don't know if we're gonna get any higher than that. I don't know what the highest scope is on this, but we can rock with this. 64 rounds in the mag again. Seems like that's the only mag we're getting. It's the same one. All right, let's see how we can do with the scope. Oh, this is awful. <laughs> the my usual way of dead shot aiming, just tapping my left trigger. It looks so bad doing it with a scope this big. It's zooming in so far and just back and right back out. On top of all the effects going off, like disciples and their beams. Everything popping up on screen. It's like I can't even comprehend what's happening. Okay, we have a ring of fire and we're out of stun, so we kind of need to use it. This is this is awful. <laughs> this is so bad. We're kind of tanking it though. Maybe we got a cavalry lancer barrel out of this, or ring of fire is just carrying this hard. Not seeing any problems with armored zombies at the moment. Okay, ring of fire is gone. I can't comprehend what's happening actually. No, no knocking. No. I'm running. I'm out of here. I'm gonna repair the armor a little bit too while we're here. Disciples, sit down. Knock it off. All right, that was a little bit tough. We're gonna need some decoys or some stuns or something here. I'm gonna grab decoys just so we can keep with the camo progress. Oh, that's bad. On the decoy for me, please. Would you kindly? Why well, laser all of you? And that's ring of fire. No bullets in the mag. Could not reload in time, but it's still working. Oh, there's chemical. We're all done with our pack a punch kills. All that's left is crits. And good thing we got a scope to get the crits with. So many zombies down here. Oh, you gotta go. Uh-oh. I gotta go. Got a blast. On the decoy for me, please. Oh, shit. And they knocked me. Get me back up. Get me back up right now. No, 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 no. Where are you running? Get over here. You wanna get knifed? Come here. First down of the day. I'm gonna blame it on the scope. Come on. Let me up. Do I have to use a self-revive? I really don't want to. This zombie's about to die. No, we got it. We're up. We did it. We made it. Give me these stuns. Let's toss those down. We still have dead shot. That's all we really need. Okay, we might need a little more than that. Not gonna lie. Okay, we get a few kills on our way out. Gotta keep it moving, though. Oh, shit. Up the rope. Let's go up rope number two. Oh, there's already zombies spawning up here. What are you guys doing? That's not fair. Okay, let's get everything back. Oh, this is even worse up here. Such a smaller area with the intense zoom on this. This is gross. It's gonna give me motion sick. All right, well, that round's over. Oh, and they're giving us a breather on this round. Nice little torment around. And we only have like, what, 150 something crits left to get? Maybe more, maybe less. Can we get to the next round milestone? Or is this our last one? These are our last attachments. Ring of fire time. There's a panzer coming. There's a million zombies in here. This is not looking good for us. Stunning. Oh yeah, this is bad. We gotta get this panzer before our ring of fire is gone. We've already seen what this can do against it. Okay, all right, zombies. You've had your fun. Now let's calm down here. Let's think about this for a minute. You don't wanna knock me down. Would not be good for you guys. Okay, stunning, running, a classic combo, the stun and run. Oh, we got another ring of fire ready. Let's try to make our way back in there. Come back in, zombies. Eat this ring of fire. Enjoy it. Savor every moment of it. So I know I will. Oh, there's another panzer too. I'm focusing them. Stuns down, freezing cold. Yeah, round 35, we're not done yet. I was expecting way more zombies in that round. We could get another reroll. Oh yeah, armored zombies are becoming a problem. It's taking a lot of shots to take these guys down. Let's back out real quick. Try to work on that ring of fire. Come on. Give me some easy kills here. There we go. That's what we like to see. Let's loop back through. Probably a bad idea. Throwing a stun, another one. Ooh, so low on health. Don't know how I survived that. Pop in the ring of fire. Let's finish this off with a bang. Ooh, ooh, barely holding on over here. Actually, no, we're chilling. We're fine. I'm starting to get used to this whole, like, normal zoom to three times zoom real quick. It's got to look crazy on the video. It's like a slideshow. And there we go. On to our next round milestone. We're still not done yet, so we need to go ahead and switch out these attachments. There it is. There's our milestone. Got a reroll. What are we getting? Okay, let's reroll again. Ah, uh, two times. We can do better than that. Not nope, keep going. Okay, I guess we're stuck with it two times. I was trying to see if we can get a larger scope. I wonder what is the, the biggest scope on here. I probably should have checked that. We're still with the 64 round mag. I feel like it doesn't want to give us anything else, but there's a golden viper. We're finally done. We rolled our attachments there. We actually got it done rerolling our attachments and we're getting mobbed. Okay, let's see how long we can survive with just this. Can we get a ring of fire? Maybe we can survive this round if we get one. There we go. Popping it. Oh, there's a lot going on. There's too much going on. 
and we're getting mobbed to all hell. 58 health. We're surviving, though. We're living. Oh, no, we're not. We're gone. We're sleep. Yep, night, night. Oh, made it right back up, though. You can't take me out, even if you wanted to, zombies. Okay. But guess who's back up, bitches? Yeah, that's right. I'm still alive. And I got stuns for you. Uh-oh. That Tormentor did a lot of damage. And we're dead. Okay. Let's check our stats here. We got 1,903 eliminations, 1,506 crits, zero revives, and four downs. One of them was from us doing the challenge. The last three were on me. All right, before we go ahead and look at the camos, just for curiosity's sake, let's go ahead and check these out. Oh, there was a multi-zoom, a two to four times. That's basically the two times. We did end up using the biggest scope that we had. This would have been interesting with an AR because we could have got like a sniper scope on it. But let's go ahead and check out the mastery camos here on the LC-10. This is what Gold Viper looks like. Very nice. Got some nice coverage here. Actually, let's put this back to the default. All right, now that we're on the default, here's Gold Viper with the stock and everything. The little shoulder pad there on the stock. I don't know what it's called. Uh, looks pretty nice. Uh, coverage on it's very good. Only the mag, the part of the barrel, the iron sights, the trigger, and part of the, the stock aren't covered. But I'm sure some of these mags have coverage. Let's take a little peek. Because we saw some weird coverage on those uh, mags with Pack-A-Punch. But does it change here? That one does not. I think this is the one we were getting. This looks a lot like our 64 round mag we kept grabbing. This one doesn't get any coverage. Neither does this. This one or that. Okay, now this is Plague Diamond. Plague Diamond gets the bottom there covered, and you can kind of see the bullets in the mag a little bit on this one. Kind of crazy. You can see that little red outline. I think that might have been the green thing we were seeing before. Maybe it just changes the hue of something. I don't know. But either way, it's completely studded out here. Everything that was black on Gold Viper has now become that purple metal, and it looks real nice. Pretty good looking gun. Now, Dark Aether is beautiful on this. Basically the same coverage as Gold Viper, but Dark Aether is just such a nice looking skin. It's got to be one of my favorite skins like I've, I've seen in a COD. Like this thing is beautiful. Really quick, let's do another mag test. Maybe it changes with Dark Matter or Dark Aether rather. Nope, does not look like it changes. Let's hold on. Just for my sake, I want to see what's going on with that one mag. Because if Plague Diamond's the only camo that has different mag coverage, yeah, it is. So I think Pack-A-Bunch camos go off of Plague Diamond coverage, which is outrageous. Because they know, they have to know that Plague Diamond has the best coverage in this game. And they use that to map out the Pack-A-Bunch camos. That's crazy. All right, well, let's go see what this thing looks like in-game with Dark Aether. All right, this is what the LC-10 looks like in game with Dark Aether. It's very, very nice. The coverage on it is insanely good and it's just a nice compact little SMG. This is just a very like aesthetically pleasing looking weapon. And then on top of it, having a very nice camo on it. Ooh. Also, we're on rush here. I've been trying to change up what maps we go ahead and look at camos at and this is looking pristine you almost you can see the bullets in the mag when we hold it up to the sun too. That's pretty cool. I didn't know the game had you know sun physics like that that's even a thing so there you have it that was a pretty interesting challenge i like this a lot you know it's kind of fun to go ahead and see like oh uh, what attachments i'm going to get now like is this going to help me or is this going to hurt me and i think it'd be probably fun to try to get to like you know whatever round x round i don't know if it's round 100 those kind of burn me out but seeing what kind of crazy attachments you can get on a gun that has more range attachment wise like we could get like a thermal scope or a sniper scope or we could have like a 20 round mag or a 60 round mag. I like, let me know if you guys know any weapons that have some crazy mag range and optic range. Because I think it'd be fun to do uh, a little challenge with a weapon like this using the same exact like, the, the, the same rules placed out here for this one. But we did it. We went ahead. We got the LC-10 Dark Aether even while switching our attachments out. So uh, this is probably where I'm going to go ahead and end the video. So if you guys like this, you want to see more, go ahead and leave a like on it. If you didn't and you don't, dislike if you're new here. Please start subscribing, put all, all kinds of COD content throughout the week. Uh, if you want to, you know, feel free to head over to my Twitter. You can drop me a follow. That mean a lot. But uh, that's going to be it for me today. I'll see you guys next time. Later.